one of the biggest races of the jump season in Ireland and uh, it's fantastic to be able to take part in it. And the prize money is taken a real boost in recent years which has been a huge a huge boost to the race and I mean you only have to see the, the quality of horses that are going to line up it's nearly like a grade one you know. The Boys Sports Irish National just um, very interesting runners obviously there's been money for Simpo which is interesting because he's a, he's a maiden actually going into the race and he's stamina to prove and all that but maybe in these races now they're so competitive you need a, a young horse that might have a bit in hand yeah, I suppose, you know, in my opinion, the, the money is a little bit, everyone's getting a little bit carried away with themselves, you know. But How do you mean? Um, well, he's completed three of his five chase runs, you know, mm. and now he jumps into an Irish national. You know, I think it's a much bigger ask than, than, than kind of what has been said, but the horse is in good form. And, you Can know, you explain that actually? So going from like your maidens, which are, you're probably running in nearly graded races at mm. our maidens. Yeah. But small fields, and now you're yeah. going into the hurly burly of this. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a different ball game, you know, and and uh, you know he was relatively lightly raced over hurls as well. So so um, I just think experience boys it's a big ask, but you know there's no doubt that he is a talented horse, and he's he's proved that in the past. But um, it's a big ask to go into into an Irish national, and uh, um, um, uh, but the horse is in good form, and you know hopefully he can get a, a share of the prize money. Which, which is fantastic, it's a, it's a big pot and, uh, For sure, and uh, yeah. it can be very hard to win it. You know, there's no doubt that experience is a big help. And there's only one way to get experience, uh, mm. and that's by running in the races. So, um, um, yeah, listen, we're, we're looking forward to him and we're looking forward to home by the Lee as well, who, who uh, has a little bit more experience, but still is a novice. And, uh, um, um, and we goes, saw him wearing the hood. Yeah. Uh, he wears a hood in a lot of his workers in. Yeah, he, he wears a hood in his, in his routine training. Um, he's, he's a, it can be a little bit of a handful of times, but uh, he's, a, he's a, a very tough horse should stay very well and uh, you know we're looking forward to running him also. Yeah and you might have three or four in the race. Yeah so Top Moon um, uh, is might creep only, in. Only yeah only probably 50-50 to get mm. in so uh, he, he'd be a runner if he gets in and Mortal is, is guaranteed in and the plan is to run him as well. Um, he'd love getting back on a bit of nicer ground mm. but that, that'd be a big help to him. How do you want to ride a horse in a race like that? So listen, really you have to leave it up to the jockeys mm. in, in, you know, the race, in a race like that, you have to get into a rhythm somewhere and, uh, and um, you know, instructions that probably, it's hard to give instructions, like I say, for, for a race like that, going that trip, um, uh, this, depending on what pace they're going, I leave it up to the riders. Have you had many runners in the race, actually? Um, a handful. I had Akers, who was run, run, run very well in it a couple mm. of years ago. Um, uh, he, he, he got into a bit of trouble at the last. That was um, a dramatic so, race. Yeah, it was yeah. a great race, actually. Yeah. So hopefully it can be a great race again this year and I might come out on the better side of, mm. the, of, the, of the look. But, but he ran very well and um, um, yeah, hopefully we can have something perform with credit again. It's great to have a couple of horses to, to run in a big race like the, like the National and, uh, and uh, the prize money, like I say, is fantastic.